Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All these Lies of P fans, I'm going to give you my rankings on the bosses. I originally didn't really want to do this because it is based on skill level and preference. A lot of these bosses, the reason why I struggled the most with them was for different reasons than probably other people or you might resonate with them. All I know is I utilized every resource available in this game including the specter i cultivated a technique slash advanced build so i could utilize most of those elemental throwables that just help you so much in this game because the puppets are extremely weak to electrical attacks carcasses are extremely flammable and of course you know the humans you use acid on and it just melts away at their health bar like anything else so there's just so many little things that just helped me along the journey but some bosses I really could not you know get down to a science in terms of their fighting styles they're just their move sets were unpredictable at least to my mind of course other people are going to say differently that's why my ranking is going to be a little bit different than what other people have put out there that's why it's just not going to be helpful but this is just giving you kind of like a little bit of my own review on each boss like there are some little sub-level bosses that you have to defeat in this game to progress forward just like the gesture that's why it's so important to just utilize and just realize what their weaknesses are and really cultivate that build well because otherwise you're just going to have trouble like i did i had plenty of it but now to my tier list what is the easiest boss in this game and i'm going to start off with the easiest and go all the way to the most challenging boss in the game i'm pretty sure a lot of people agree on this and you'll just have to watch through this listing to be able to see but you probably already know anyway so starting from easy the easiest optional bosses you can go up against are the puppets of the future they are slow the only thing is if you get caught under them during their little stomp it does send you into a shock which will prevent you from using your stamina while the shock is still available that means you won't attack or if your stamina bar is so low you're not going to be able to do a move set so you might as well, as well utilize their slowness just step back and then continue forth of tackling their legs eventually you can get them in a groggy state especially if you're cultivating using some of the uh lightning based weapons like the rod over here that i'm using they are really easy they ha each one you kill you get a quartz for even the ones in the swamp just like they will follow you to land just lure them towards the land after you've already took out the torrent on top of the tower there just and then just go at them it's like easy courts they are the easiest sub level optional bosses that you can beat in this game it's no sweat so try your best at it don't be intimidated by them they are super slow just don't get caught under them and you'd be fine the next on this list is all the stalkers really once you figure out how to get around them as quickly as possible you can do constantly backstabs on them and i even took it upon myself to get better at guarding using them and i broke some of their weapons and it's a lot more fun it's not so intimidating once you realize that just like the mad donkey he has like a slow move attack that he does and that's usually the perfect opportunity to do a perfect guard uh the last survivor he was easy as well 
He has quick attacks that are intimidating, but you can get around him pretty fast and do backstabs. I'm just using like the electrical rod the entire time on these stalkers, which is hilarious because their weakness is mostly to acid, but I was like, I don't give a crap. I just use what I had in hand that was the most upgraded. Even with the white lady, it's so hilarious. She gets caught up in her moveset and she doesn't know what to do. It's like the AI system gets kind of like locked on and doesn't know what to do. Just keep circling them until you get that backstab indicator and just do it the entire time. It'll be fine. I did her even on a lower, like not even enough pulse cells available to even survive. And there was the owl dude and there was like the atoned all of them are optional. You don't have to face them. It's just to collect the masks and the outfits. So you can just change up your attire once in a while. For me, I really did it in this game anyway. Next is the Parade Masters. The very first boss you're going to go up against in this game. You don't receive any help, but if you use electrical attacks on him, you'll dra drain his health bar down pretty quickly so make sure you equip some blitz some throwing cells and you're good it's gonna go by super fast also this is an opportunity to learn perfect guard but like pretty much like the stalkers you can circle around these dudes and it messes up their fighting mechanics somehow i don't know if it's just a glitch but a lot of the times I do these on bosses and it just like it's crazy even playing on new game plus it's ridiculous like they're nothing at that point. I know you're gonna hate me for this but the scrap watchman once you learn how to perfect guard and do a lot of things he is easy like it's ridiculously easy like each my player rounds he just it's like ridiculous the only issue i have which i have with other bosses as well is the elemental damage that they have it means you have to make sure you consume uh, some attribute resistance or otherwise the shock will continue to eat away at your health bar but other than that totally easy once you learn the mechanics of this game it's gonna feel like you're cheesing everything and plus i always summon the specter but it doesn't really matter if you summon him or not he's just a distraction but majority of the time the bosses are going to be coming after you anyway don't be surprised that i put the corrupted parade master so early it makes no difference with how he looks just switch it up and use some fire attacks on him. The move sets are pretty similar to his old self. The only thing, he spews out some decay monsters along the way, but they're so easy to kill, especially with the trident weapon and using the shield. You're going to have full capacity legion arm when you reach this point anyway. But if you're a person that needs the extra protection, just get the shield. Plus, the only additional attack he does that's gnarly is that wall, that floor crawl, which can just deal a lot of damage. But other than that, you're good to go. Use a fire attack and he's easy peasy. I had no real issue with the door guardian. I think I beat him on the second round. His move sets are so slow, it's ridiculous. The only issue, which I know a lot of people have, is that he does a lot of shock damage. And if you didn't put anything in advance to give you a little bit more resistance to shock damage, break, and disruption, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Then you kind of have to equip the amulet and then take the resistance. Uh, I think there's a special attribute resistance thing to consume that will give you a little bit bit more leeway in dealing with that otherwise just step far away i use the legion shield and the trident i got you just have to hit his weak leg 
but that's not the place where to do the most damage. You have to get him down to do to be able to hit his head, which will do more fatal damage to him, so he could die fast. And of course, when he does the rolling thing, it's best to just have the damn shield, okay? Even though Champion Victor looks a lot like Vayne, he doesn't fight as well as Vayne. It's like, I'm kidding. Uh, he is not that difficult. Just use some fire attacks, some acid attacks. Just use a lot of throw pulls. Summon your specter. Uh, you can block his attacks. He doesn't do much shock damage at all like some of the other characters. It can seem intimidating because he's just a lot larger, but he's a very weak enemy. I think I beat him. Uh, I've only died once to him. So it really only took me twice. He's good to go. He's just not that hard. Don't stress it. Yes, the King of Flames is harder than Champion Victor and some of the other earlier or later foes that you would probably consider a lot more difficult. But really, the King of Flames here, because of his like brick-like fist, he doesn't matter if you perfect guard him he's just gonna shove you back and do like a shock attack on you or a break um and the one thing that i hate the most is that he poops fire it's gnarly as hell and if you don't any have any attribute resistance set up it takes your health bar down quite a bit and then he shoots tar at you and fireballs if you're not getting him to a certain point of damage in the game. But he can be pretty easy. But he is difficult. This one has the best cutscene ever. The Bad Bunny Gang. I love it. I know they're called the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. But I just call them the Bad Bunny Gang. Because that's what they look like to me. They're wearing these cute little outfits that look like bunnies. And they're just bad as hell. But unfortunately they're not that hard. But the only reason why it can be challenging. Is because at a certain point of bringing down their brig big brother's health bar they all start to jump in and start ganging up on you they themselves have low health bars but if you don't summon help and you're not so skilled i'm not good with tackling multiple enemies at once which is why i am always going to summon the specter and i used a heck of a lot of throwables in here making sure i use acid the carcass fluid having the the grindstone for the acid all of it and even with the shield it wasn't doing a whole lot because once they start coming out of the woodworks it can be difficult to block everyone but all around they are not the most challenging bosses to go up against i know some people took four hours or more to try to defeat this boss the king of puppets which is kind of like i believe it's the halfway point of this game or maybe a little bit more than that this boss once i utilized electricity and just amped up my advanced skill a lot more he was nothing and plus when he transitions into romeo all you have to do is dodge to the left all the time and it screws up his fighting style like literally for some reason some of these bosses or side bosses they get all choked up when you start circling around them so his weakness just keep dodging to the left go around him even when he jumps at you don't get intimidating the only thing to worry about is when he starts using flame attacks on you i don't like elemental attacks being used on me unfortunately that is kind of like my weakness in this game but luckily enough i was able to defeat this boss in a timely manner it's kind of ridiculous to go up against the Bad Bunny Gang all over again. It, For some reason, it was a little bit more challenging this time around. I don't know why it was, but 
I kind of did have a little bit of a struggle. I think I died twice or three times before I was able to get all of them down. I think at this point, focus on getting all of the small fry out of the way first as quickly and efficiently as possible because Big Brother is going to come out and slam his thing and he looks like a dang zombie. That's why this one is a little bit more on the challenging end of the spectrum. I don't know how Simon Manus was before the update, but I felt like I was a little bit cheated on him being the final boss. I think I only died two, three times before I got it down to a science to get him down. I technically almost beat him on the first try, which was kind of hilarious in a way. He has slow move sets, but that hammer does a hell of a whack job. And plus when he goes into his second phase, uh, he, he did kind of toss me around a lot. I think most of the time I was just being like knocked around all over the place. So that's why he's a little bit more further on the challenging end of the spectrum here. But you use acid attack. I used the crystal spear on him the entire time and didn't even switch up to the trident, which I did have in inventory. It just felt like I was doing more damage with that and plus using the shield like that and just spearing away at him. Dude, it felt like I was just cheating this game the entire time. This boss was a bit more challenging than Simon Manus even though Simon Manus is right after this character well, over good. here. Ah, uh, the same issue I always have uh, when bosses deal a lot of elemental damages, it could be intimidating, especially this one where she goes into a second phase. I know people like to do little things where they want to break her sword because then they kind of unlock the cutscene for her. But I'm surprised I was able to even defeat her. I mean, in the first round, we got her down to pretty much nothing real quick and then there was the second phase that took me a lot longer only because she deals a heck of a lot of electrical attacks so it's oh, good to Lord. be leveled up perfectly well to handle electrical attacks such as that meaning even take some of the attribute resistance to help along with that but either way um I can't say she's easy and I can't say she's hard. All I know is I'm like at a certain point when you do reach her, you're going to be prepared for her anyway. The spaghetti monster I thought was really challenging for a lot of reasons. First of all, his attacks, he goes underground and spurts from underneath you. He deals a lot of decay damage, whipping his little vines around so it can be annoying. Also, he does this attack where he charges at you and if you don't dodge away on time, it could be gnarly and take a chunk out of you. His second phase is pretty disgusting as well where he develops the moveset of the scratch, uh, Scrapped Watchman, which can be horrible. I think I died quite a few times uh, going up against this boss on all of my profile slots. You have to use fire damage on it and the specter you know you got to give him some fire resistance and fire attacks and all that stuff because otherwise it's just really horrible i don't know why i had so much trouble with this boss but i did some people handled this one very well but i didn't I never mentioned in my review how much i hate this boss the walker of illusions Mostly because I was fully unprepared for it to double up as soon as you bring down its health bar halfway. Uh, it is considered human, so I use acid attacks on it, but I ended up using everything on this dude. And its attacks would lock me in the wall and I'll end up falling down the ladder and having to climb up over and over again. And actually, I utilized that to be able to throw 
crap at it to get its health bar down and then use my shield to be able to block its heavy attacks which would just always push me in the corner and I would just spear it to death and then I would fall down the ladder again which is hilarious I don't know, understand why I had such a horrible time with that now we're moving on to my challenging bosses that I died 20 plus times to like ridiculous like i was crying to this boss the fallen archbishop andreas i'm like he i'm gonna just say it he just looks like an std i'm like the whole whipping of the tongue and just giving you decay come on this is just disgusting it gave me nightmares for weeks playing this boss i was so glad when they did the update to lower his HP level and to make him a little bit easier to handle because literally this is an awful boss. I, 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 won't, I do not blame people uninstalling this game after dealing with this boss and not getting past it because you literally have to get past this boss to continue moving forward because this game is very linear. You have to, it's just like you got to keep pushing forward and and without defeating these bosses, you can't. Just to help you with this boss, use fire attack. Have it available to you. There is the legion arm that you can equip to spew fire at it. That's what I eventually did. Not to mention avoid his backside that is the snake with the rod dude. Just deal with the backside of him because you'll learn the moves of this gnarly creature his backside a lot quicker than the one that is like hitting you with the rod plus he can just pick you up off the ground and toss you that's the part i didn't like so always just deal with his behind and then when he shoots that that laser thingy just be right behind him like go literally right under him and you you will miss it. He will not get you because I know it will just kill you like really fast. And I don't even know how I survived half the shit that he threw at me. Who was the most challenging boss in the game? You've guessed it. The Nameless Puppet. He is an optional boss for the ending. If you choose to not give Geppetto your heart you're gonna be facing off against this dude if you do give geppetto the heart then you kind of spare yourself from this entity that i couldn't even figure out the move set of it i don't have the patience or the mind or the eyes to deal with a boss at this capacity with so many different move sets especially when he goes into his second phase it's horrible it's gnarly that's why I saved every single throwable for the very end because otherwise I could not figure out how to perfect guard him. I was just wasting away all my pulse cells to be able to survive his attacks. At some point I figured out that if you keep moving to the outer part of the arena, he will do a slow walk at you and that would be the opportunity to just toss a whole lot of stuff on him. And use like the good stuff too, like use the throwing cells, use the carcass fluid, use the thermite cells, use everything. I even used the rods and I just tossed it all trying to get his like health bar to a certain point. So I could deal at least a damaging attack with one of my weapons. Which in the end I don't even think that happened. I think I killed him basically with all my throwables. Well there you go Liza P fans. That is my opinion on who is the most easiest and who is the most challenging. I know I didn't number this or category them in any form of way. I just labeled it in that way from easiest to hardest. You can get whatever you want from it. Um, hopefully you're able to get through this game in a timely manner and enjoy it. I know a lot of you guys are, especially the ones that watch my videos and leave a comment to let me know how they like the game, whether some of my little tricks help them along the way, which 
that's the whole point of all of this. So this listing, well, this opinion of mine might not resonate with you because you probably are better at perfect guarding and you probably want to do what everyone else is doing and just like get good at just using the weapon and not using your specter, which is okay too. But if not, don't be ashamed to use all the resources out there. Cultivate a little bit of like your advance stat and do a little bit more elemental damages use all the throwables out there i noticed some even the best out there they just toss a lot of throwables and they have their little strategic methods to things and i really just don't i just figure things out that works for me along the way but this game and all other games it's just about figuring out your own method and these bosses are going to be difficult based on your skill level. But either way, you guys have a good evening or a good morning or a good afternoon. And thank you for watching. Thank you.